If you get quoted a price for a mobile home and a property and the person dies, is it legally binding? I loved this. My husband's friend quoted him a price of $19,000 for land and a mobile home. He gave my husband the keys to the mobile home so he could remodel it. He told my husband once he was through that they would go to the lawyer's office and have the papers drawn up. The man selling the property died and now his wife is wanting property value of $46,000. We have over $10,000 invested in the re model can she do this agreements to sell land have to be in writing if someone says i'll yep. sell you this property for nineteen thousand, and then they change their mind and it's just a verbal offer mm -hmm. i can't go to a court and compel them to sell it but if we have both signed a written agreement saying you'll sell this to me for nineteen thousand dollars here are the terms of the sale and when it has to close like that and if one person breaches at that point then it then I, the court can compel you to sell me the property does it have to be a to super agreement does it have to be like a notarized super official contract or can the it be better, a, the, the better. A, a cocktail napkin with Bill is going to sell me his motorhome and his bland for $19,000 with two yeah. signatures. Yeah. That's not that, going to work. That hire a lawyer. Hire a lawyer. How, hire, much, do you want, how the much, the much do you thing, right? want this property? <laughs> Jumping on the other issue with so, so the land and the mobile home, if I tell you we're going to do this deal and then you say, oh, well, I'm going to fix this up in anticipation of it. And I yep. say, go ahead. Yeah. Now you're starting to to make a situation where it would be patently unfair to let the other person just benefit right. from the improvement. Okay, great. So hold and, on a minute. Now we're in back in the good zone. That's yeah. the principle of equity, yeah. right? Okay. Which is, you know, the, the court at the end of the day should be pursuing fairness, right? Most estoppels are based in equity. Yeah. Principles. So what is an estoppel? Define so estoppel. Estoppel me. means the court is going to stop someone. Yeah. From doing ah, estoppel is really ah, for stop. My yeah. right to stop things. So yeah. a promissory estoppel, yeah. right, would be uh, you made a promise to me. Yeah. I relied on it and spent money on it. And now you're trying to just take it all back. Well, I'm going to ask the court to, to stop, stop me. To so either they stop commit you. an estoppel. Yeah. Can I commit an estoppel as, as an individual? Can I stop you something? You request the court. The court. Okay, okay. gotcha. Yeah. I think in their situation, right, I think the land, they're probably stuck, mm -hmm. right, depending on the jurisdiction. But for that mobile home, again, it's going to depend on how they treat it. But if nothing else, I would be pursuing not just the money that I spent on renovating, but the added value. Right. Gotcha. Yes. So if the mobile home was worth ten grand, I spent ten grand fixing it up. Now it's worth thirty. Well, right. I'm going to be going after that that twenty yeah. in yeah. value that I added. Yes. That's great. Eventually, you would, might make it painful enough where that side just gives up and sells it to and you. you meet somewhere in the middle, or they sell it to you. But if it's but if they're saying like mobile home and it's not like an RV, it's like a, a double wide on a lot. Yeah. Do you really want to own a double wide on a lot that you don't own? Right. Yes. Right. right? Um, especially if it's someone who's mad at you about something. Yeah. Like oh that. yeah, you, then your landlord hates you. Hopefully you, you never have like, to see oh, each other. Cut yeah. costs and yeah. get out. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Talk About Death and Taxes. If you enjoyed this, uh, definitely let us know in the comments. Guys, our law firm is focused on setting people up and helping them out with legacy preservation, anything involving last wills, trusts, and estate planning. Um, we also created a PDF, um, and that's linked in the comments below, and uh, James is going to tell you about it. Yeah, so we went ahead and put together a brief PDF format pamphlet, and this is a primer for somebody who is new to thinking about estate planning. It's going to tell you what it is, and it's also going to go through three common mistakes that people make when they think about estate planning, and it's going to be titled something like that. <laughs> so go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's pretty accessible, and read it over. If you have any questions or if it makes you think about anything, give us a call. See if we can help you out. Yeah, you can also work with us straight away if you give us a call at 404-939-7562 or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. Guys, if, also, if you could share this video on your timeline, that seriously helps us out. Guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.